Say hi to Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi. Jen's word working in things. Go over and say hi. I'll put links for her channel up, you know, over there in the corner, one of the corners. <laughs> well, oh, my razor blade's dull. That's how we get hurt. That's okay, I can cut potty mouth out. It works. Who, what? Who, what bucket? Who's cutting what? I am. I'm trying not to cut me. Well, I can still cut more than butter with this, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Like a glove. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> there we go. Are you ready? It decided to float. <laughs> We're prepared for that. So I don't really know what to do with this. A lot of this resin has gone in there somewhere. Uh, you know, you see it's it's tight to the bottom, so I didn't float. Uh, I was expecting it to be a little further over the top than that, but this wood was pretty dry. Who knows how old it is, the 1930s era telephone pole. So, you know, she's pretty worn out dry and you know, cedar, so it soaked it up. Uh, it's not gonna do what I wanted and aside from losing some of the resin on the outside of this here, there really isn't that much of it left. A little bit, say, here on this lip and here on this lip. But I think I'm going to kind of do a, a up to this type deal, um, like right here and then cut in towards the center and then down towards the base and kind of make it, a, I mean, still a bowl, but more of a hollow form. I'll see if I can cut around underneath. I'm probably have to get into the carbide cutters and cut it in reverse. So that's what my achievements are for today, I guess. <laughs> it's not at all what I wanted, and you know how that goes. Um, a, a change in plan always happens when you're doing this stuff. Plan B, here we go.
It might have been hot. <laughs> all right, so all that noise, all that noise, you see that? Old Billy Bird up there talking to us while he's driving. Billy, Texan, talking and driving is not legal. <laughs> he's not actually looking at us. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna put on the sanding sealer. All the angry chipmunks will be Billy Burt or Jen because I'm gonna speed it up. I am recording and you guys will sound like angry chipmunks. It'll be okay. It's all good. Y'all can sound like angry chipmunks. I can't help the angry cursing chipmunks up there. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they won't be able to tell what you said, Billy. <laughs> All right, I'm seriously sorry about the angry chipmunks. <laughs> That's not cool. Stupid carbide cutter. Well, now what? What do you mean, what? I, I, I switched to a carbide cutter and it chipped up my rim. So I'm going to have to put a wooden rim on this, probably.
I feel like I'm cheating on my girl the bowl gouge over there anyway, so you all don't need to see. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm going to try and round it up in here. I got my, my materials thick here but thin in there but I still have to uh, make sure I get this out and it's a little wonky on this side because I didn't turn it on this side so I got to try to straighten that out without going through the rim and we're gonna go from there Here, but that's not a big deal. Let's get a hole in it. Gotta fix that. Stay up there. So there you go. I guess the rim doesn't look too bad. It kind of looks like it blends. Color wasn't loud as I thought it was gonna be. So we get this off here. We'll get it over there to the stickery type board, and we will talk about it or something in in that fashion. Oh, ta da! There you go. That you can see through it. I know I'm talking about it now. Woo. 
Maybe I'll hurry up before the heater comes on or something. I'm sorry about the um, pesky chipmunks. I could not control them. You know who they are now. <laughs> uh, actually, that was the first time they've ever been in here. Now, I've been asked to do lives. I'm not even interested. It's not going to happen. I don't want nothing to do with it. That was on my phone. I could talk to them. That was fine. But I'm not going to do lives because I can't see anything up there in, in order to read anything that's going on off my phone while I do something. And they were so far away. I don't actually know what they can see. So, let's get to this. Nothing up my sleeve for this week anyways. That's probably the best pole barn I've ever done in there. Nice and clear. Uh, you know, it's a... Uh, Piece of telephone pole. <laughs> I mean, a cedar telephone pole. Now, if I remember right, Jack told me that, I don't know if it was installed in the 30s, and they came out and they replaced it in his yard and he asked if he could keep it. So, um, th this piece of cedar had been standing since 1930 as a telephone pole, I think. I'm not positive, but. I, and I've had, I got, I had a whole thing of it out there. It smells like wood out of attic. Like that old, it's been cooked for centuries. Dried wood, that's what it smells like. I can still smell it unless it's in here. Uh, I knew most of my color was gonna go away. Um, it, it went in, there's a big cavity in here and that's, you see it right there. So that's where my resin went. My level should have been higher and that kind of threw off how I was gonna turn this. So this is what I ended up with, a little vase, I guess, if that's what you wanna call it. But you can still see through it. Uh, there's a hole in it here somewhere, as soon as I find it. Uh, right there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe you can see through it better this way. There you go. So the hole is right there. See? Right there. <laughs> I added the gold rim because it, it, it splintered and down these. Uh, you can see the splits in it. So it had splintered off of the, the top of the resin in that. So. Uh, that actually worked out pretty well putting it in the in that rim like that. I didn't use that much I think I used a hundred grams of the resin and uh, the Perlex Aztec gold in the rim and It laid in there like it was it wasn't even a separate piece. So it kind of fades right into it So it turned out well it you know and it, and it went well with the the silver and the copper color And now those are from wish I bought them a couple years ago I don't even know if they offer them anymore, but you know how Wish goes. You, you order something and it takes, you know, months to get it. And there's no names on it. Um, yep, I got nothing going on. I will put Jen's links over there. Um, that was also Billy Burt. I'll put him over there too. If anybody's interested, shoot on over. Show them some love. Um, I don't have anything else going on. Uh, I will put pictures of this up at at the end. At the, at the end, yeah. Some, some. <laughs> and also probably Billy and... And, and Jen there, so it's Jen's, uh, she changed the name, Jen's woodworking and things, I think, because it used to be like blings and jings and bing, bing, really, 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 really long. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Uh, Jen's daughter, Beth, actually picks the colors, because I didn't know what colors to do with it, so. Um, the gold was me uh, and Jen talking about it, but uh, the silver and the copper was Jen's daughter, so. She picked the colors, thank you, Beth, and they look pretty good. Uh, even though I lost most of it, this was not the design I wanted to go with. So this is what I ended up with. And I still like it. It, it turned out really nice. It's weird. Uh, those, How long did that stuff grow to get all those, those tight grains like that? <laughs> all right, so uh, pictures at the end. We'll see you all next week.